You've probably used Conjurer's Holds for your Void Builds, Nezarek Sin, maybe even Skull of Die Ahamkara. Okay, sorry, you probably ain't ever used that. That stuff's trash and it looks trash as well, so stay away from that. However, if you're looking for an exotic for your Void Builds, I got you. Today's build is a very straightforward and fun one. You just slap it on and whatever your playstyle is, it just works. It has great ad clearability and best of the best when it comes to healing in the game right now. Let's start with the exotic that makes all this magic happen, the Nothing Manacles. Now I'll be honest with you, first time I saw this exotic, I just thought, an extra grenade? That is not going to do much for us, but it is an extra grenade still. And it allows me to use the scatter grenades which I call the grapes, which I never touched that thing before. Most of the time I just use Vortex. Since we like spicing things up on the channel, started looking promising. Besides that extra grenade, you also get tracking on your grapes, which helps cause you don't have to perfectly place your grenade each time. You could just throw it and you know that something within the general area is gonna get hit. We're gonna be using our grenade in two ways. First is the quick release and the second, the charged up version. The two aspects that we're gonna be using for this build are Chaos Accelerant and Feed the Void. Quick release is mostly for the regular enemies and general ad clear where you just instantly throw your grenade and it goes to work. With the aspect Chaos Accelerant, it improves your grapes making it have more sub munitions do more damage and track a little bit better so you're most likely going to be using this for your yellow bar enemies the enemies that are a little bit stronger so you can chunk them a little bit more the other aspect field the void grants devour and void ability defeats while devour is active final blows restore health grants grenade energy and extends the devour timer this is basically how we generate our grenade quickly because the amount of energy you get per kill is just insane for fragments, we're using undermining. It increases the lethality of our grenades because grenade hits weakened targets, increasing all damage to that enemy by 15%. We also use instability, which gives our void weapons volatile rounds on grenade kills. And echo of harvest, which spawns orbs of power and void breaches when defeating weakened targets. We talked about this earlier, undermining weakens the targets when you kill them. This one procs which gives us an orb of power and a void breach at the same time. The last fragment is echo of starvation which grants devour an orb of power and void breach pickups. So you see the synergy there is we weaken enemies, kill them, get orbs of power, pick up those orbs of power and those void breaches to be able to stack up more buffs. There are a lot of weapons you can use for this build to be honest. Funnel Web, Hollow Denial, Wave Splitter, even Unforgiven because that one gives you Demolitionist which charges up your grenade quicker. That's one of my favorite SMGs for anything void but again we like to spice things up here so I started thinking of something that would really really fit in and synergize with this build. Since we're gonna be throwing out a lot of little grapes, there's only one other thing in this game that does the same thing. Graviton Lance. Since this weapon got buffed, it's been amazing for ad clear and the way it works is simple. Kills with the weapon cause enemy targets to detonate and spawn void projectiles that track targets. Yeah, basically they're talking about grapes. It's literally the same thing as a scatter grenade projectile so they just work hand in hand so well. Stats for this build are very new player friendly as you don't need many max stats to make it work. Until Bungie decides to change things, we'll keep using max resilience for the best form of survivability. Since we have Devour to take care of all our healing, we don't need to run that much recovery because that's what recovery is for, how fast your health regens whenever you're low. We're also not prioritizing our risk for this build because we want to heal based on our kills, so we're basically going to leave recovery for later. Our second priority stat will be Discipline so we can get our grenades as quickly as possible so we can get Devour all the time so we don't need to heal with recovery. My suggestion here would be be run max resilience whatever else you can get into discipline run that and if you can get resilience and discipline to max then you can throw stats into recovery i normally only state a few important mods for the builds that i make on the channel but i realize not everyone uses dim so i'll put all the mods on the screen right now so you can take a screenshot or whatever you need then i'm going to explain the mods that i feel have the highest impact on the build so you know exactly how they work on the helmet we're going to be using ashes to assets this one's really important as it gives chunks of super energy on grenade kills we're also running harmonic siphon on the helmet to generate orbs since whenever we're not getting kills with our grenades we'll be killing everything with our graviton grapes this way when our grenades not making orbs our weapons making orbs. for gauntlets grenade kickstart and firepower are a must Kickstart returns our grenade energy when we use it, 
and firepower makes orbs of power on those grenade kills. For legs, we run stacks and stacks to keep our armor charges up, because with this, every time we pick up an orb of power, it counts as two armor charges instead of just one. Then you can add void surge mods, maybe one or two, depending on how many slots that you have left. We'll also run time dilation on the class item to increase how long the buff lasts. This build is simple, spread the grapes. Use quick release grenades for regular enemies and take some time to charge it for the stronger enemies. If you don't have any nades, just use your graviton to make more grapes until you charge your grenade back up. For those of you who made it all the way to the end, thank you guys so much. I'm happy you enjoyed the video. Hashtag KBAPD in the comments so I know that you heard this. Or you could just leave an emote if that's more your speed. Any form of engagement helps out a ton. Don't forget to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. And subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace.